It's easy to confuse a heat alarm and a smoke alarm. They both detect fire, right? My name is Cameron from PSA Products and today we're going to answer the question, what is the difference between a heat alarm and a smoke alarm? So to put it simply, a smoke alarm is designed to detect smoke from something that is smoldering or fire that is beginning to burn, where a heat alarm is designed to detect heat and trigger after it's reached a certain temperature. So a smoke alarm is designed to detect the smoke as it's flowing through the alarm. So any smaller kind of particles that, um, like, like smoke, as it flows through, um, think of it like a laser grid inside of a shop or a jewelry store. And as the smoke particles pass through those laser grids, the alarm will sound and it will trigger a response. Um, obviously, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but it gives you a good understanding of how the smoke alarm works. So heat alarms are a little bit different. They are designed to detect heat, as the name says, and, as the, um, and basically will start to alarm as the alarm reaches a certain temperature, or the air around the alarm reaches a certain temperature. Now, that varies from alarm to alarm, but with this particular alarm, the PSA heat alarm, this one will go off at 57 degrees Celsius. Now, it is important to note that you cannot use a heat alarm in place of a smoke alarm, as smoke alarms are designed to pick up on smoke from a smoldering fire, which is like a fire that's beginning to burn. Most house fires are caused by smoldering fires, something that's uh, started very small, it's burning really, uh, really badly, and it produces a lot of thick smoke before it starts to turn into a raging fire. So that's why smoke alarms are preferred to be used in a house and bedrooms and living rooms mainly because they will detect a fire before it turns into a big roaring fire where it's the most dangerous. So basically this means that the smoke alarm is going to sound faster, which can basically be the difference between life and death in a house. The heat alarm is going to take a lot longer for the air to reach the temperature required to set it off. So heat alarms are designed to be used in places where a smoke alarm is not suitable. And basically because of the way smoke alarms detect smoke by the, the particles flowing through them, things that isn't smoke can also set them off. And so this includes things like cooking smoke, dust, insects, and moisture. And those are some of the more common things that'll set an alarm off that's not necessarily smoke. So it's obvious that you don't wanna be putting a smoke alarm in these locations where it's extremely dusty or there's high moisture levels, or it's more likely to get a lot of bugs getting into the alarm. Now, sometimes you will find these things affecting an alarm in a normal location. But basically where you want to be putting a heat alarm is in areas like a garage, in bathrooms, in kitchens, in laundries. These are areas where it's basically impossible to put a smoke alarm in there without an outside factor setting the alarm off all the time. So that's the best places to be placing your heat alarm. Now each state in Australia does have different laws on the placement and the use of heat alarms. Some states even require you to have a heat alarm installed in the garage. So it's important to check with your local council to make sure that you do everything correctly. Also important to state, and I've said this a couple times, that you cannot use a heat alarm in place of a smoke alarm. Remember, smoke alarms are designed to save your life. They can be the difference between a life and death situation in a, in a real life fire event. And heat alarms are just to be considered as additional protection. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you a little bit of insight as the difference between a smoke alarm and a heat alarm. And if you ever enjoyed this and you like what we're doing here, click the like button and subscribe to the channel and we'll keep you up to date with more fire and security tips. Thank you very much.